Loving it, and welcome back to another episode of the Northern Luzon Road Trip. We made it here in Cape Boheador, the lighthouse. I thought it's Bohe, <laughs> it's Boheador. Okay, get it right, huh? Bohero, ah, Yahero. Ayan si Ate, oh, meron akong Bohero di sa Tagalog mo. Ah, no, the entrance fee here is 10 pesos per person. Wow, very good. Right next to the parking lot, there's uh, an area where you can buy souvenirs from windmills that you can bring home. The decoration, shirts, you didn't bring a hat because it can get really hot. We also have it here. Next stop is the Kapur Purawan Rock Formation. But before we enter, we need to pay 10 pesos per person here at the parking lot. Now that we've paid, let's go! Which way to the windmill? <laughs> They're like, who's this whitey? We're the only whiteys here. <laughs> okay, we need to park our car here before entering Kapurpurawan Rock Formation. There are also some eateries where you can buy fresh buko juice, water, empanadas if you're hungry. They also sell some umbrellas and hats because it is quite hot, huh? There is a little bit of a walk towards the rock formation, but it's not that bad. <laughs> an option to walk or use the kabayo or horse 100 pesos per person back and forth to the rock formation i think it's gonna be a cool experience to ride the horse here by the shore hey <laughs> i'm scared actually why you haven't ridden a horse before it's been like years ah. it's not something i've done a lot now no there will be a guide there will be someone who will uh, guide us all right mm, we but... won't be on our own all right good to know all right giddy up let's go bye bye See you later. Alright, we're done. We have our run here with horses, like back in the day. And we're gonna explore the rock formation. We've been to Biri Island in northern Samar and we saw rock formation there and it was just so beautiful. It's gonna be hard to top, but I can already tell it's pretty nice. Let's go see. Beautiful. I mean, Biri is still more spectacular, mm -hmm. but, but this, this one is color white. Yeah. Section, you can't top it, but yeah. Biri is more like 
several views that you can look at. It looks like a solid rock, but once you sit down, it's actually sand. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it was formed. So be careful because hey. I see I have a lot of like dust <laughs> when I sand. Very, very nice. <laughs> very slow key, and I didn't have to do anything. Parang magi give up na yung abayo sa asawa ko. Wow! <laughs> I asked him why is the horse so small? It's because it's a native horse. Mm. Okay, next stop, we had to park at this area because there is a viewing deck overlooking the Bangui windmills. And I think it's for free. It's just right beside the highway. Oh my wow. Wow. The windmills are aligned. And beautiful. look at the beautiful mountains. It's almost sunset, golden hour, so it's the perfect time to take photos of this place. So, wow. So nice and peaceful here. The drive is pretty, what do you call this? Picturesque, I would say. Once you pass by La Union, everywhere you look is beautiful. So it's a nice drive. Kind of takes away the haggardness away. <laughs> Four in the morning, you got me up all cause you need to talk To four in the evening, wanna break up, say that you've had enough I'm tired of talking, again and again, argue about everything You are my darling, this kiss and make up, I know you wanna touch You call me every night, call me every day, I just wanna get you alone now Trust me when I say we got Hello, we're here in... Balaot, Barangay Balaot, and it, <laughs> it reminds me of Shargao. First time I went there in 2016, it's giving me that vibe where there's not so much concrete houses. There are, but most of them has this nipa roof, and the waves are nice. People are friendly. They're all saying hi to us. I have a good feeling here. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe we'll fall in love with this place as well. <laughs> oh, look at this. Beautiful scenery. It's almost the sun is about to set. We're a little bit late. We were supposed to arrive earlier because I wanted to catch the sunset, but you know what? We still have tomorrow. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> what? Why well, is no one talking about this? It's really giving that Shargao vibes. Actually, northern Shargao too. Look at the roads! Oh, so cute! Wow, guys! Sarah's happy. <laughs> this street, this drop, reminds us of the one in Burgos. Uh, Tiba, the overlooking Burgos town. This one like is different. So whole bar. On the waves, on the beach. Look at that beach. Wow, it's also white sand here. I'm very surprised. I don't know this part of the Philippines. I've never been here before. I think the furthest one I've ever been to is Pagudpud, Bangi to be exact. And now this is a totally different experience for me, which is nice, you know? There's no foreigners. It's only Martin. <laughs> if you need me, I'm gonna be by your side. If you want me, I'm gonna be there all right. If you're on me, I'm gonna treat you the right, treat, treat you the right away. If you come me, I'm gonna pick up the phone. If you tell me, I'm gonna meet you alone. If you're on me, I'm gonna treat you the right, treat, treat. We made it here in Ikami. Wow. And as y'all know, in every travel vlog, there's always a room.
welcome to Ikani Surf. Very excited to be here. But I know, you're all looking for the room tour. Oh, let me give it to you. Here is our queen size bed. Yes, our queen size bed and bedroom. And look at the size, the room under the ceiling here. <laughs> There's a mini bar, a fridge. We have a cabinet over here. Very nice. There's a TV. Very, you can see that, you can tell that this place is new. Right. And it's very clean. And there's our luggage over there, mirror, yeah, air condition. And then over here, there's the bathroom, which I thought was really cute. You guys can see the plants here. Again, high ceiling. Nice. Love and this it. nice finish on the concrete. So very clean, simple, but yet exactly what you need. Mm -hmm. Huh? Beautiful. Yeah. Nice. The dinosaur. Ordered Milo dinosaur. <laughs> you know why I'm a dinosaur? Because this year, I'm not in the uh, no, anymore, you know, calendar. But at least I'm still in the bingo, you know. My first time to try this. You know why? Because I can't have milk. <laughs> but since our villa is just right beside the restaurant, easy for me. Eh? You know you shouldn't drink it, but you still do. Mmm, it's so good, man. Sarap. Are you ready? Airplane! <laughs> After the long drive to dinner with a gang gang while working, <laughs> everybody's working. So this is what we ordered, chop suey and fried chicken and of course, garlic rice. Let me show you what it looks like in the morning here in Ikani Surf. There's a surf spot right in front of Ikani Surf, right there. Um, but the waves are quite small, so I don't know if we'll be able to surf later on. And look at that, I love those little islands over there. It kind of reminds me of Hawaii. I haven't been to Hawaii, but I've seen videos of Martin with that in the background. So, oh, it's so beautiful. And we're about to have breakfast. This is the restaurant here in Ikani. It's called Zef Zephyr. Zephyr. Wait, let me ask the kuyas. So there's already a breakfast included one booking. So hi, good morning guys. How was your sleep? Wow, you wake up and work right away. <laughs> hard working. <laughs> yes. So this is what their restaurant looks like. We even have fresh pastries here. There's an ube pandesal. Kind of want that. Kuya, isang ube pandesal po. Pandesal ba to or Spanish bread? Ube pandesal. Ube pandesal. Isa po. Nyan. Thank you. Uy, may crinkles din. Oh my gosh, ang sarap naman nito. Fresh lahat to, kuya. Wow. Oh, they even have this. Ano po ito? Oh, parang ang sarap din. Parang ang sarap lahat. Okay, kuya, isang ube pandesal muna for for me and they have coffee here they serve coffee and bread sama to sa breakfast kuya wow mana sa breakfast with butter nice wow it's nice breakfast this is my breakfast tapsilog so tapsilog is tapa it's beef eggs and inangag na rice garlic rice and also je is having tapa same as me Sarah, what are you having I'm having a spam silog spam silog so instead of tapa Sarah got the spam and what did you get just Unlimit coffee there's unlimited <laughs> americano coffee <laughs> he's happy five stars <laughs> 
five stars. We even got an ube pandesal. Let's taste it, Martin. Pandesal. You've tried ube pandesal before, though. Mm. Oh, there's cheese. Oh, this is the legit one. And there wasn't any cheese for me. Huh? I'm gonna. Yeah. Mmm. 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 Hi. So, we have a full day of activities today and for the past, I think, two weeks, my Birkenstock slip-ons like saying hello now. See that? Saying hi. And the other one as well. So, I've had this only for a year but I've been using it for quite a lot. So I bought myself like a super glue. It still looks fine, right? It only has a mouth now. Let's fix it. I only brought this slip-on and rubber shoes for this trip for the whole month and shoes for me is um very bulky when it comes to long-term travel so i don't want to buy a new one instead of buying a new one i'll fix the old one yeah today we're going on a trek to beautiful waterfalls mind you i haven't been in this area so everything is new to me i have a new perspective i haven't done quite a research to be honest i've just seen all of the photos that we're going to do today via google maps so i think that's the beauty of it is that you don't expect anything right you just let life surprise you wow all right martin is still getting ready jen and sarah won't be coming in for today's activities because they want to work and yeah it's uh, i guess it's just me and martin for today so come along there you go baby togo stones are on my lado sabrosa y tan brusa como un mango una chica de bahía con milagros cantita bien caro la bella brasilera canta a capela dime en portugués todo lo que quieras yo te llego en cualquier manera Good morning. Ini wana nako no asawa ko be. Uy. <laughs> okay, guys, we rented this truck from Hertz Philippines. You can rent these kind of trucks or 4x4, a sedan, name it. They have it. I will be putting the link of Hertz Philippines on the description box. In case you guys are looking for a reliable rental car here in the Philippines, they have branches all over Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So, you guys are also wondering, Martin is also using his Norwegian license. Am I right? But you also have to bring your passport with you. It's valid for? Two days, if you combine, at least for Norway. Check your country before arrival, but that way you don't have to take an international driver. All right, let's go, baby boy. Let's go. It's so beautiful here. I know. <laughs> I want nice to stay here longer. To know you can go somewhere in Luzon that feels like an island. It feels completely different from anything we've seen so far on this trip. This beautiful little sand part with hammocks. A little bit of Gigantes Islands in here. <laughs> <laughs> California weather, it's like 90 degrees It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me It's just something about the way that he's making me feel My insides are out, I just wanna shout his name Ah, oh, my body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips Ah, oh, I wanna run him through his hair But I'm trying not to stare, mm -mm. I get a little starstruck when I see Duct. I hope I pronounced that right guys. This is I think the most beautiful um, coastal yeah, bridge that we've seen so far. We're all the I way think this is the only one. I'm not so sure. We made it all the way to the northern part of the Philippines and we're 
greeted with amazing weather in this beautiful part of the road. There's no Athen, no Sari Sari here, so we can see the ocean. So untouched. That's what's so cool up here. I've never been in this part of the Philippines. And I must say, I think I have to explore more of my country. You know, I thought I've seen a lot, but Philippines just surprises me every time I travel here. Wow. We parked our car so we can take photos of the Atapat Bridge. Even has the sign of Welcome to Ilocos Norte. I think this is the Instagram shot where people would take photos. Because you can see the entire bridge overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Beautiful. Get a shot of me, your husband. Wow. Give me your phone. <laughs> How would you pose when your parents tell you to take a photo? Oh, you ready? Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> one more, one more. What? <laughs> exactly. You nailed it. <laughs> oh, I mean, you're, you've been doing this for a while? You're the professional on this subject? Yeah. Okay, let's see. I've how... been trained by my family. Yeah, let's see how, how, how a mom would like show off. Let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for something to happen. Again, again, again. If you're, if you're a little bit more excited, what it would look like? Oh. Then when it's a thumbs up. Ah. Hey. Next one. Next one. There. <laughs> Perfect. Good job. I think you win this one. Hey, we have registered and paid 200 pesos for the local guide. This is our local guide, si Miss Lolita. Lolita? Lolita. Lolita. Ayan. And then we're going to drive to the entrance before we start walking. Look at this view. Wow. So our tour guide said that if you have a higher car, you can park right at the end in the last tindahan or last store. We've parked and now we're ready to walk. Okay, so far so good. The path to the Kaibigan waterfalls, it's not so bad. Even my grandma can trek this. But I don't want to speak too soon because we've been only walking for I think 5-10 minutes. Hopefully it won't be as hard. I just love how peaceful it is here. And you have to hire a guide, a local tour guide when you go to Kaibigan waterfalls. Also for your safety because you know, you don't know, especially if you're not familiar with the trek, the road, you might get lost. So it's just better to hire a local tour guide for 200 pesos. We can't hear anything, just the birds chirping and the waterfalls. I love that the trees are very high and gives us shade, you know, while we're walking. Even if it's already 12 noon, it doesn't feel like it because trees, probably the river right beside us is giving that nice breeze. We finally made it to the top of the waterfall! Yay. 
Nice. Oh my gosh. And we're the only ones here. I think I need some uh, coffee in the morning. Hi. I've been drinking. Good thing we both had this. Yes. You know, ready to drink. Ready to I drink coffee, coffee wherever we are. Uh, I got the mocha. Mm -mm. Oh, by the way, if you guys don't know, we have a discount code. Hey! 20% off using yes. the code MARVE. Link in description. And they ship these guys straight to your door. And they also have them in 7-Elevens all across the Philippines. So it's been easy for us to stay, you know. It's a nice reward. <laughs> yeah, it is. After the trek. Absolutely. So, do you think you're gonna have the guts to swim there? Oh. I'm a Norwegian now. <laughs> Actually, you are. Married Norwegian. Oh, it's like an ice bath. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we are going into the waterfall. Okay. Whoa, we're leaving this really spectacular waterfall behind. What an absolute gem hidden here in the jungle. I flew my drone and I believe I got a really, really cool shot of Ave. So yeah, super cool. We also took a lot of photos and uh, Instagram videos. So make sure to head over there to see how it all came out. Now we have about a 20 minute walk back down. We're feeling really content now. Very happy. It was a refreshing waterfall. It gave me energy. Right. Okay, now that we're back in the parking lot, we're gonna give birth to our guide, a Marvigada merch because she's been so good to us. Hi, my t-shirt is from Marvigada. Ano ka siya to, Nay? Asa naman, no? Hey! Happy days! Ganda! Thank you po! Nay, sabay na po kayo sa amin! Alright, we're gonna bring her down. Bye-bye! and we discover this place called Villa Manuela Coco Bar and Grill and it's just unreal views up here look at this it's like only Ava out there swimming barely see her hat and then yeah uh, it's like one other group on this beach I feel like this is the stuff you see on postcards like welcome to the Philippines and it looks like Boracay but a lot more peaceful and this is what the place looks like <laughs> So we ordered some grilled fish, honey, garlic chicken, and some rice, some sodas, and a buku juice. All in all, it's 770 pesos. With this view. Priceless view. Wow. What a view. Lunch with a view. I just finished swimming. I just swam in this blue and white and green and mouth. Oh my gosh, the windmills. It's so peaceful here. I cannot believe no one is here right now. But then again, it's a Monday and it's still not summer. So, you know, this place reminds me of Boracay. When the first time I went to Boracay, I think 20 years ago with my family, you can see just palm trees, not so much hotels. And by the way, I haven't done a sand check. Okay, bestie, I got you. I want to show you how fine the sand is here. Not better than Boracay, but if we're talking about how peaceful it is here, pretty good. And they said that this is actually a surf spot as well. It's just not the season right now. So most likely around June until January. Okay, let's do a sand check. Sand check. Oh, nice. 
and powdery. There are more hotels here that you can probably stay in or have lunch. Just for us, it's just lunch, you know, and you can see the windmills over there. It's almost low tide. It's actually low tide now. Yeah, or you can see different hotels. There's even a beach volleyball area here. Pretty wild that no one is here right now. All I can see are people from the other side, but here, wow. Ah, uh, this is amazing. I feel so good right now. <laughs> After the waterfalls, now this. It's a perfect day for me. If I'm by the ocean or any bodies of water, I'm very happy. The best thing about exploring Ilocos Norte is that you don't have to ride a plane over here. I mean, there is an airport in Lawag, which is about like two hours away, I think. But if you have a car and you're on a budget, you can bring your friends or family or even lover here. If you're a solo traveler, you can also ride a bus to Ilocos Norte. This is one of the best beaches I've ever been to here in Luzon, period. Well, that was fun. Now, we're going back to Ikani. what you do. and Sarah are here. We picked them up from Ikani and now we are exploring the places around the area. In Google Maps there is a, a place called uh, Beautiful Undiscovered Place. <laughs> this is it. We're here. This is the undiscovered beautiful place. Yeah. <laughs> Someone named it. There's no one here. Oh my wow. I see a lot of abandoned places here. I'm wondering why is that so? Was there a big typhoon that hit this place that just owners decided to abandon it or what? Like this, so? Yeah, so many of them. So young, that. So there's stairs here that leads there at the top. To it's called Stairway to Heaven. You know what this reminds me of? Oracle. No. You remember the time when you were driving around Mexico? Yeah. And I was so scared because I think we've been driving for an hour and a half and it's just like this. The road was just like this. I'm so scared that we might run into a cartel or something. That was scary times but still here. We out here. Welcome. Where are we going? Welcome Narnia. Welcome to Narnia. Yeah. Welcome to the jungle. I, I, oh my gosh, wow, look at that. Trees over there. Narnia or. Ay, ang ganda. Wow. Where? Hello. Min Min. Cute. Okay, so Google Maps, we just went to this place called Beautiful Undiscovered Place on Google Maps. And this is where it led to. Mm, just in time for sunset. So nice. time we ordered some chicken in a sal and gansi of course rice let's eat right and got the cheeseburger that looks yummy wow We're still eating Filipinos of course rice <laughs> Thank you. 